Saint Aloysius Gonzaga died in the year 1591, um, and he was canonized in 1725, I think. But Aloysius uh, was born of a very noble family, and his father wanted him to be a soldier. But that was not to be. At the age of 10, Aloysius consecrated himself to God, taking a vow of virginity. And at the age of 12, he received his first Holy Communion from the hands of St. Charles Borromeo. He gave up his um, right to succession with his father to his brother Rodolfo, and he joined the Jesuit order. Um, and for six years, he was at the a Jesuit novitiate in Rome, where St. Robert Bellarmine was his spiritual director. So he had two wonderful saints to guide him in his life. He had a great desire to become a priest. Um, he was a seminarian with the Jesuit order, and he received minor orders at the Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome. But in 1591, a plague broke out in Italy and many of the Jesuits assisted the sick and the suffering, and Aloysius Gonzaga did the same thing. In the course of that, he, like other Jesuits, contracted the disease. Many of them recovered from it, but St. Aloysius, Saint Aloysius did not. He died at the age of 23 um, from the plague in Rome. Aloysius was a, a, a young man of a seminarian, really desiring the priesthood, of great innocence and penance. He led a very holy and dignified, sanctified life. He did a lot of penance for himself and for the, for the world. The other characteristic of him was his deep charity. First of all, his love for God. Many times he would go into ecstasy when he was praying. But his charity for the sick and for the poor that he reached out to and eventually lo ultimately lost his life in caring for the sick and the poor. St. Aloysius as a seminarian um, is one that we can pray to as the patron of youth and pray to him for an increase in vocations in our own day among young people. 23 years is a short time to live, but he lived it so well with a deep spirituality and a real love for God and for others. So it's a great feast day for us today and we ask that God's blessing upon all the youth who are calling, whom he is calling to serve as priests in his church, that they respond like St. Aloysius with a deep love for God and a love for their neighbor. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions. When St. Aloysius felt that his death was very close, he wrote a letter to his mother and he asked her to tell the family that he saw his life as a gift and a joy from God. And he asked for her motherly blessing as he passed over the waters to the shore to which all our hopes belong. What a beautiful thought. The hopes, where all our hopes belong, that's the ultimate shore of heaven. And um, we all should live with that sense of joy that one day we will be with God in heaven.